another DIY. What we're doing today is called a knot pillow or a pretzel pillow. It's just like this really funky looking um, pillow that's all braided. It's really cool looking. Um, I found this on Pinterest. Um, they did it in a bunch of different pastel colors, but we're actually going to be doing it in a uh, kind of like a, a lime greenish, not like a muted lime green color, but uh, you can do it with anything you want. So we're going to go right into um, the supplies. Alright, for what this project you will need some thread. We have it in this lime green color, which I'm too lazy to actually use. We're just going to do it in a white, but a coordinating thread will make it a little bit easier for you. But you're actually not going to see this thread at all with the way that this pattern is. So a coordinating thread is preferred, but if you have like a white or something that would se uh, seamlessly go in or, or matches, that would be fine too. You're going to need a... Uh, scissors or a rotary cutter. You don't have to have a rotary cutter, we just have one on hand, but you can also just use scissors. Make sure they are fabric scissors and not paper scissors. You're going to need fabric. We have three yards, which is more than enough for this project. We got this at Walmart for a dollar a yard. They have a little dollar section. Um, it's called clearance, but it's just the older fabric that hasn't sold. Um, really soft four-way stretch it doesn't necessarily need to be stretchy maybe whatever fabric that you think would be softest for a pillow um and we got three yards of this which is more than enough i think a yard would be fine for anybody else you're going to need a sewing machine or you can just hand sew it but it would take a lot longer so a sewing machine is preferred and you're going to need a good amount of polyfill or fiber fill um, this is not very much, but we actually have this huge thing. Ooh. So we have plenty of fiber fill, obviously. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it's snowing! <laughs> so that's about everything you're going to need for this project. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is take your fabric and you will need about a yard of this, five inches width and a length of one yard to be folded over. You will need to make sure that you fold over right sides together so wrong sides are out um, for sewing. Because this will be turned inside out after we get through sewing the seam, which we'll do right now. Pins are optional. They are a good way to guide your work to make sure you stay within the line that you, your, your straight seam that you want to produce. So it's not all wonky. all of your work you're going to make sure to start sewing at this end all the way down making sure to leave the, these ends open um, for stuffing and here it is completely sewn Whoa! <laughs> So now we're going to uh, flip it inside out. Okay, and this is what it should look like once um, you have sewed it and swept it inside out. As you can see, the seams are really well. And then we made sure to do a back stitch right up at the top. That's where you just go back and forth to keep them locked in so they don't come unraveled. Um, then you're going to close off, just like tie it with some thread right here and make a, like a little sausage in and um, start to fill the polyfill in, which we'll do right now. And now we have the sausage in all tied up and we'll finish that at the end. Just time to fill it up with polyfill now. Optional, getting a paper towel roll or a wrapping paper roll and a stick to stamp in the polyfill. I was gonna say, I don't think
Okay, so the knot that I wanted to create didn't really work out. Um, the pattern that we got told us to do one yard, five inches. It's a free pattern online. Um, so what I think that we need to do is actually about three yards. That might be a little excessive, but it's better than having um, something that's too small like this is. Like the back isn't bad. Um, these can just be like tucked in or sewed in or something. But I really like the way that it, ca it came out. It looks like a little loaf of bread or something. It's really cute. I mean, what do you think? It's just kind of small, but yeah, it is cute. Yeah. I guess I'm just going to show you how I did it with a one yard in five inches. And uh, see if I can show you guys how to make it all twisted and cute like this. So first you're going to take your yard of fabric and you're going to make it look like a pretzel. So you're going to take it and you're going to loop it down. You're going to take the other loop and come inside the, that circle that you just made and pull it tight. Just like this. Um, so you're going to take this little wormy piece and push it right on through. And make it tight. And you're gonna take this little wormy piece and push it through. You're gonna push it through the back to where this little edge is and then you're actually gonna go under it this piece right here. So it's gonna go through and then go under. And then on the back where you have this thing sticking out, you're just going to tuck it under. And make sure you can't see it from the other side. You could hand stitch that in there if you wanted to. Truth. Mm -hmm. Or fabric glue is a thing, I guess, if you were lazy. And then just maneuver it to however you want it to look. I like it better sitting like that than when, the way you had it the first time. <laughs> Ta-da! So pretty much I don't have a good way to show how to make these look like this. You just kind of have to play with it. And it actually looks a lot better the second time I did it. Um, because it doesn't, you can't even see the other side. So pretty much just make a pretzel and then keep twisting it and twisting it until you make yourself a shape that you like. This is really tiny. So this is going to be the little mini um, knot pillow um, all made up. It's about five, it's about six inches by five and a half inches tall. And it's not very wide. It's just a little mini pillow. This would be cute for any sort of decoration. This is just a, an extra strand of string. Don't worry about it. It's from the sausage end. But you know, for not really necessarily knowing how to tie knots and not having a, an accurate sewing pattern, it turned out really well, you know? Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> <laughs> it did, it did. Um, I really like the way it all kind of just goes into itself. And it seems like it's something that, as long as you can figure out the sewing and the measuring, it's something that you could probably even get a child to do. As in, like, it's a fairly easy craft for a beginner. Yeah, it was really simple to make. I mean, all you really need is fabric, polyfill, maybe who one of these. Who doesn't use paper towels? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it was not, like, a ton of pattern sewing. It just, the length was the thing that was really off with everything. But I actually do like it, so. Well, this is our little finished product. Um, it turned out really cute. I like the way it looks. Both sides are pretty, um, like, decent. It's tiny, but it's really cute. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I actually might send this to one of my photographers to see if she'll use it with one of her newborns. Yep. That would be really adorable. Hopefully she doesn't accidentally pull it out because I have no <laughs> idea how to put it back the way it is. But I like it. I really do. I think we did a good job. Alright, so, well, if, uh, this is actually going to be part one. We're going to have another one where we revisit this and do it the dimensions that our 
for like a Celtic knot, it's going to probably be the same fabric, just a better pillow, better knot pillow with a better um, knot instruction to actually replicate it. So that will be in part two. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus, and we'll see you in the next one, whatever we make. Bye. Bye. Bye.